I think social engagement is incredibly powerful as a way to connect people with science. There's a lot of interest and people are really, really thirsty and hungry for good scientific information that they know that they can trust, that's explained in a way that, that they can understand. But I think one of the key aspects of that is that it, it can't be a one-off thing. You can send press releases, you can uh, print brochures and something like that. But uh, the really uh, difficult thing is to really engage people and raise awareness about the topics we are working on. Social media is a fantastic way to do that. And again, the emphasis here is on engagement, not just on broadcasting. The most common mistake that, that people make in terms of science outreach on the internet is forgetting that it's a social medium. You know, they, they approach it like it's a press release. If you're just tweeting, hoping that people will see it and pay any attention to it, if you're not paying any attention to anybody else, then it's just like in any sort of conversation. If it's one-sided, the other person's just going to walk away. You have to give them a reason to care. And the reason to care is actually that they trust you because you've built a relationship with them. There's lots of different people that you can build relationships with. Science bloggers and science journalists would be people that I would be immediately following if I was setting up a new Twitter account right now because they will amplify your message. Letting your personality come through is, is good. It's a little more difficult for you know, projects or institutions that are, that are sort of faceless, but actually I would encourage all of the people who are in, get involved in a project to have their own Twitter accounts as well as having a, an institutional project-based one. The biggest mistake that people make is to think that I have, I have done my tweet, I have blogged my blog, my job is done. Adding value is really important. You know, if you're tweeting about papers, put a little comment on to say why you found it exciting or uh, what it is, the, the breakthrough, put a little bit of context. Um, and being active is really crucial, especially both in blogging and tweeting. People will keep watching you if you're doing something. If you only send out a tweet once a month or if you only blog once a month, people will lose interest because there's too much uh, competition out there. You have to be willing to put in the time uh, continuously, I think.